yesterday jesus stressed on the need to take responsibility for our actions and today he emphasizes the fact that we need to develop the virtue of humility and how is humility an important aspect of christian living and why does jesus tell his disciples to follow what the pharisees teach but do not imitate the pharisees well all this and more we shall discuss during today's episode of tea time with the word but before we can begin today's reflection let us take a look at the readings of the day now today's first reading is from isaiah chapter 1 verse 10 16 to 20 and the gospel is from the gospel of matthew chapter 23 verses 1 to 12 now we see that today's gospel reading makes us understand that humility is the most foundational christian hermeneutic now you'll may wonder what is hermeneutics hermeneutics is a tool of interpreting something of giving meaning something and the message that jesus gives to us today is that without humility we are not able of seeing and understanding the mysteries of the kingdom of god and therefore humility is one such virtue that we need to inculcate in order to see things from a different perspective from the perspective of others and this will help us to be one with others now let us take a look at the lives of the scribes and the pharisees well first and foremost the scribes and the pharisees prided themselves as being ones who knew the law completely and ones who followed the law completely and as a result of it they personified a kind of a prideful attitude and because of their egocentric attitude it blindfolded them from the others around them at the same time their pride and ego also blinded them from the truth of things around them after all what is humility if it does not allow us to see things from a different perspective and allows us to have a better understanding of the world around us now because the scribes and the pharisees lacked humility they no longer possessed a proper understanding of their own place or of their neighbor or even of god and as a result we see that they were the centers of their moral universe they felt that whatever they were doing was right and all their works all their attitudes flowed from this attitude and perspective that they had now jesus calls us to do something radically different he says whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted and therefore we see that in approaching the christian life we need to continually challenge ourselves to grow in the archetypical virtue of humility we see that this virtue of humility and service is very central to our christian living like the figure described in the first reading from the book of isaiah we see that we need to examine our self centeredness and question our ulterior motives and thus we can remove any false humility any signs of egocentrism that is there within us and in doing so we need to pray for the grace that our souls be as white as snow now in today's gospel we see that jesus instructs his disciples to follow the instructions of the pharisees but he tells them not to follow the way the pharisees go about doing or conducting themselves and this is because the scribes and the pharisees were not humble and they expected 
others to serve them. They were not compassionate enough to help the needy despite preaching and teaching others that compassion is one of the essential virtues of Christianity. They taught people all what compassion is about. They taught people about the compassionate nature of God. But when it came to put these things into practice, they were unable to do it. And we see that they were great personalities in their teaching. But when it came into their lives, they were not able to be good witnesses of God. We also are loved by God despite of our weaknesses and our shortcomings. Now, if we share that love only within ourselves, only within our families, then we in a way become like the Pharisees and the scribes. And our expression of love will not witness to what real love is. But if we care for our neighbors, if we care for those who are in need beyond our likes and dislikes, then we will be witnesses of an unconditional love. The same unconditional love which the Lord has for each and every one of us. And we see that Jesus invites us to become great personalities in teaching and living out this Christian aspect of humility and service. Now, to teach others by our example, by our way of living, is possible only when we develop this virtue of humility and this attitude of serving without expecting to be served. Now, this attitude in turn comes when we are selfless, when we do not think of ourselves, but when we think of the common good. Because we see that any selfless act will eventually reach out to the needy and it will benefit them. All we need to do is, we need to keep aside our pride, we need to keep aside our ego and everything will fall in place. And as we reflect on these readings, we can take a look at these few questions that would help us to internalize today's gospel and the first reading in a much deeper manner. Do I take seriously the principle that all the other virtues flow from humility? Am I honest enough to acknowledge that I am more prideful than I would like to think I am and that without Christ's grace, I am incapable of seeing myself accurately? And as we reflect on today's readings, let us ask the Lord to give us this grace of humility and of service. And as we continue this lengthened journey, let us ask for the grace that we too may be able to become like Christ, ready to serve others, ready to reach out to others, keeping our ego and pride aside. Amen.